Today, I will walk you through how to style a bedroom dresser and then show you how those same principles apply to multiple different looks. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Carla from Vintage Hip Decor and today we're gonna have some fun learning how to style a dresser. I have gathered lots of decor here behind me because I wanna style several different looks for you so that you can have lots of inspiration and get fresh ideas of how you can apply all of these principles in your own home. We're gonna start by styling this tall dresser in my bedroom, but I also am gonna show you how this applies to a medium-sized dresser and then a long dresser. And the very first step to restyling anything is always going to be to clear it all off. Next, you are gonna shop your own home for decor so that you have things to style on your dresser. But go around your home and find decor of varying sizes and shapes and heights, textures and materials. You wanna grab a couple more things than you think you might need, maybe around 10 to 12 items so that you have options while you're styling. And then put it all somewhere nearby so that you can access it while you're styling your dresser. So there are a couple categories that you can consider while you're going around your home to try and find decor to use on your dresser. Try and include some sort of greenery like a plant or some faux greenery. Grab some picture frames or artwork. Books are also great for layering and adding height. Try and grab some decorative pieces that are a little bit smaller and then some decor pieces that are a little bit bigger as well. And that can include things like lamps. And then also try and grab a couple trays because these are really great for layering. You can also grab a couple practical things to style your dresser with like jewelry or perfume or cosmetics. This is how my dresser is normally styled. I get ready here every day. So I like to keep these things close by but still style them in a pretty way. So using all of the decor that you have gathered up, we are gonna be creating vignettes on our dressers. So a vignette is just a fancy way of saying that we are gonna be grouping items that work well together. There are so many different ways to do this and there is so much room for creativity and we're gonna walk through exactly how to do it. And remember that there are always exceptions to the rules. Everybody has different tastes, so just play around with this until you find something that you like. The beautiful thing about styling decor is that it is so easy to just change it up if you aren't happy with it. So when we're creating our vignettes, we are gonna aim mostly to do odd numbers. So one item, three items, five items, or seven items. How many items you use really depends on the size of your dresser and what kind of look you like. And again, you can use an even number of things as well. It's just whatever looks best. This is how you create a vignette. You start with your biggest items first. So depending on the size of your dresser, grab one or two items and let's get styling. It doesn't matter what you start with. It can be a lamp, a big plant, or a glass jar with greenery in it. It could be artwork or it could be a vase type situation. So you just start somewhere, just put your big pieces up. Next, pick out something that is a little bit more medium in size and style it next to your big decor. I picked something with greenery since neither of my bigger items had any greenery. So next, do another medium thing, a small thing, or you could pick out a tray or a book, something for layering, something that is a different height than what you have going on already. So far, I have the piece of artwork with the two pieces layered right in front of it, so I'm now gonna go on the other side of the piece of artwork with my other item. It's also similar in color to something that I used before, but it isn't exactly the same and the shape and everything is different. So it works well together. During this whole process, you're just gonna step back and assess how does it look? What is lacking? Does it need more height or something bigger, something smaller? Just play around with what you think, try a couple different things and see how it looks. Next, I'm gonna start layering in some smaller decor pieces. I really like what I have so far, but I'm gonna add a book for a little bit of height. Again, stepping back to look at it and assess, I saw that I kind of have a little bit of a hole over here, so I'm gonna layer in a smaller piece of decor over here as well to kind of finish that off. I really like what I have so far, but I actually feel like this painting is not holding up to all of the decor I put down in front of it. So I'm gonna scoot it down a little bit and add another piece of artwork layered behind so that it's more substantial. I chose a frame that was a little bit of a different height, so it's layered, but it's wider so that it stands up and is substantial with all of the decor that I chose. Like I mentioned before, there are hundreds of ways to style vignettes, and it's gonna depend completely on your taste, how much decor you like, if you like more minimalistic look, if you like lots of decor. This is just one way of styling this dresser. I quickly wanna run through styling it a couple different ways so we can see these same principles applied to different looks. For the first look, I started by bringing in this large gold frame and this glass jar with greenery as my large items. And then I added a medium piece of decor followed by two smaller pieces of decor to create a trio vignette. 
Next, I added a big book under the glass jar for height. Then after stepping back, I decided to switch around the placement of the small decor to have the medium piece sit on the outside to finish off the look. Next, I started by bringing in this tobacco basket as my big item along with this large plant. Then I added a couple of books and tried a medium sized piece of decor on top of the books. I decided it looked too full next to the big white pot, so I switched it out for these skinny candlesticks and slid it all down to the other side of the dresser. I played around with the arrangement until I liked it. Then I decided to try a different potted plant. I liked the new plant, but its height was too similar to the basket. So I turn it on its side to create two varied heights. And that finalized our second look. For the third and final look on this dresser, I started with this painting, then added a medium sized crock and a large plant. Then I added this brass watering can and tried this little creamer, but I didn't like the white next to the white pot. So I tried a different piece of white decor on the other side and decided that this side could also use some greenery. Then I brought in a book to ground the watering can a bit and then rearranged the right side to have the largest item on the outside again, just like I did in the first look. So now that we've mastered a vignette and how to style a tall dresser, let's see how this applies to a more medium sized dresser. So when styling a tall dresser, I tend to center all of the decor on the dresser since it's a smaller surface, but with a medium sized dresser, you have a lot more room to spread things out and do things on either side of the top of the dresser. This first look is actually how my dresser is always styled, with a large vignette of seven items on one side, balanced by one big item on the other side, with a gap in between them. But let's clear all of this off so we can style a couple different looks on this dresser and see how the principles we learned apply. A very simple look that you can create is just one big plant making a beautiful statement. This is perfect if you like the look of less decor. Next, we are going to style two separate vignettes on either side of the dresser top with a gap in the middle. Since this dresser has a bigger top, we can spread out the vignettes and leave some intentional blank space. You can also center your decor like we did earlier on the tall dresser. For this look, I started with a glass jar with the greenery and put it on top of a book. Then I brought in a couple medium sized pieces to style next to that. I brought in this white piece, but the color blended too much. I tried it on the other side, but it was too big. So I brought in this smaller white piece. Then to finalize this look, I rearranged the decor until it had more variety and didn't look so symmetrical. For the final look on this dresser, we will style the decor across the whole top of the piece. I brought in a large piece of decor to anchor the end. On the other side, I brought in a medium sized piece, then grabbed some books to stack under it to create a different height than the watering can. Then I arranged it all to make the different sizes and shapes work together. This look is for those of you who have lots of decor that you would love to display. So again, to recap, you can do one big item to make a statement, two vignettes on either side with a gap, all of your decor centered in the middle, a large vignette on one side balanced by one big item on the other side with a gap, or style decor across the whole top of the dresser. All of these same principles translate to a long dresser, but now you can use larger scale items since you have more room. I styled two looks for you on this dresser. The first one consisted of all the decor centered in the middle, while the second look featured two vignettes styled on either side like we did with the medium dresser. But of course, you can also style a long dresser in a simple yet impactful way. You can do a large vignette on one side, balanced by a big item on the other, or you can style the decor across the whole top too, just to name a few. There are of course dozens of different ways to do it, but I hope these examples spark some inspiration for you. We curated a whole Pinterest board just for you with lots more beautiful inspiration pictures on how you can style a dresser and that'll be linked for you down in the description. But as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope that this inspired you to see your own home in a new light. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is how you create a vignette. I can feel the hair. Just start with a nice clean flesh, flesh. We curated a Pinterest board just for you that is all styled dressers. So you can click over there to get even more inspiration.